hello everyone welcome back to lux mom tv and happy labor day to each and every one of you guys today i will be grilling fish and if you want to see this simple recipe of mine keep watching also like share and leave me your comments so guys here is my fish okay i have croaker fish so I have three of them and I'm going to be making um, roasted fish with it, okay? So this is my fish here. It's still frozen, so I'm just going to try and clean it out. By the way, the fish is already clean at the uh, market, okay? It's already clean at the market. So I just need to clean it out some more. Then I soak it in salted water. I'll soak it in salted water for about an hour so that, you know, the salt can go in the fish. Then I will show you how I grill it on the grill outside on my deck. Okay. So guys, this is my fish now all cleaned out, okay? So I'm going to add some salt, some salt into the bowl, okay? All right, so I'll add cold water into the bowl. So my tap is over here. I'm just gonna add some cold water into the bowl like so. So what you want to do, you want to submerge the fish into the salted water, okay? And you uh, leave the fish in the salted water for about an hour, okay? So you want the salt to go into the fish, alright? So... So make sure you have enough salt okay so that will make your fish taste much 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 better if there's salt in it so i'm just gonna sit this one aside then for this one, I'm also going to put some salt in this one as well because that container will not take all the three fishes, okay? And I'm going to add water into this one and I'll also set it aside. So guys, I'll come back and show you how I prepare this fish. Okay guys, while the fish is still in the salted water, I'm gonna prep the tom um, the uh, tomato, onion, garlic, and habanero pepper. Okay, I have three cloves of garlic over here. I have a medium size um, onion. I have some tomatoes and habanero pepper. So this one I'm gonna make use. Um, I'm gonna make a sauce. Okay, a sauce for the fish. Okay, so let's go and blend this up now and. You know, then I'll put it on the stove for it to start cooking. So everything is in now, guys. So let's go now and blend it up. So guys, our blended tomato is done. So I'm just going to put this one aside. I got a clean bowl. I'm going to mix all the spice i'm gonna use to um you know marinate uh the fish after i take it out of the salted water okay so i'm gonna go with curry this is the last leg of my curry 
this is the last leg okay so i'm just gonna about you know let me just say a teaspoon of curry okay so i'm gonna add some some um thyme this is thyme okay i have some oregano leaves here Yeah, my oregano leaves is out as well so i have to go for spice shopping <laughs> so i'm gonna add some ginger so i added the ginger and i'm going to add complete seasoning okay add some complete seasoning i'm just eyeballing it guys so if you want the measurement, I'm going to leave them in the description area, okay? And also, I'm going to add some paprika. Okay, so I'm good to go now. So this is all of it. Then in there, I'm going to add some oil. You can use any oil. This is just avocado oil. about three quarter cup of oil okay so now i'm gonna mix everything together so guys remember we already soaked the fish in salted water so i took it out just get a clean paper towel and just you know soak out all of the water okay just dab it like so and all the water you know should be out of it all right so now we're gonna go in now and marinate with all the spice we have okay remember we already put salt in that water so we don't need salt in our spices anymore so this fish should be well salted now so i'm just gonna take it like this and just put it in it gonna go all over so now I'm gonna flip it I'm gonna flip it to the other side and do the same thing. So that's it guys so i'm just allowed allow it to rest for another hour so that all the spice and herbs we go inside you know we go inside of the fish okay then i will now go to the grill and roast it okay so guys this is the fish now well marinated with all the herbs and spice okay so now i'm just gonna cover it and let it sit here for another 30 minutes to one hour okay so i want all those pies and herbs to you know get into the fish okay so i'm just gonna use my foil okay. let's cover it up and let it sit here you know then i will show you when it's time to grill it 
Okay, guys, it's time for us to make the sauce. Okay, while the fish is marinating, my sauce is here. Um, tomato is here, so I'm gonna pour it in a saucepan like this. Then I put it on the stove and let it cook down. Okay, so once it's cooked down, then I'm gonna try and fry it and fry the tomato sauce, make it all nice and delicious. So, guys, this is the pepper. The tomato onion and pepper blend so this is it it's just boiling down now okay so i'm going to let it continue to boil down until all the liquid in it is completely dried okay then i'll go ahead add my spices add some oil and continue to cook it okay so i'm going to leave it for another maybe like five to ten minutes now for it to you know uh, dry out completely so guys, this is what I will be using to, you know, uh, cook the uh, pepper sauce, okay? So I have salt here, I have one nut cube here, I have complete season here, I have turmeric, okay? I have my curry and I have my oil, okay? So I'm going to go in now and add them into, um, into the pepper, okay? So you can see that it's completely dried out now. completely dried out so I'm gonna go ahead now and do all of that and I will show you so guys after adding all the spice this is it okay so just leave it for another five minutes and our sauce is ready okay so this is our spicy sauce for the fish okay so it's completely ready So you have the sauce at this on the side when you are eating the fish. Okay. So now let's go over and go put the fish on the grill. Okay. Okay guys, it's time to go grill the fish now, okay? So I'm going to be using this basket, okay? I thought this was very uh, nice to use for grilling fish, okay? I got this from uh, our local store here, okay? It said non-stick grill basket, okay? Detachable handle as well um, for fish and things like that. Poultry, chicken and everything. It has this beautiful picture in here so i thought oh this would be good to grill fish okay so let's open it up then clean it out put the fish in it then yeah i'll use it to, to grill the fish okay guys one of the fish is in so i'm going to take another one okay so the basket can hold two um you know large size um, fish okay so that's not bad at all so this is the top of it okay so yeah now it can go in the grill uh, this way okay so guys our grill is on now okay so Whoa, it's sizzling. So I'm going to leave it here now, okay? So let it cook. So I'm going to cover it and let it cook. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, it's been like 15 minutes now, and you know it's fish. So fish cooks up faster than you know any kind of uh, you know meat so let's look at it now wow it's looking good so now i'm going to flip it over can you see guys let me bring it close so you can see 
looks really, really good, okay? And this basket is so, so helpful. It's so helpful, I'm telling you. Without the basket, I don't know how I'm going to flip it over, but it makes it easy to flip over, okay? So I'm just going to continue so it, uh, for it to cook on the other side now. That is it. Guys, I want to show you my kids' pet. They found this turtle. <laughs> they found this turtle at the backyard here. And they picked it up and they went into the pet store and bought food. And bought food for the turtle. So this is the turtle in there. <laughs> this is the turtle in there, guys. So I just put it in this bowl for the little one, for Bree to play with. And Brie have been having a ball with this turtle. She went in the pet store and bought food for the pet. So that's the little things you see in the bowl. That's the pet food. Can you imagine that, guys? So let's go and look at our roasted fish now. Hey, turtle. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, turtle. So guys, I think our grilled fish is completely ready now, okay? So this is the other side. Let me flip the other side. Ooh. So this is the other side. So I think it's completely ready now. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to spray it. Spray some oil on it. And just leave it for another you know one or two minutes okay so it's completely ready 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 it's ready now guys so let me take it inside and i will show you the final look okay guys this is the final outcome of the grilled fish okay so the basket was so so nice okay taking the fish out of the basket was so easy because the basket is supposed to be non-stick right was so easy to take the fish out so look at it guys it looks so good so here is the pepper sauce if you don't like pepper sauce you can always have lemon juice to go with your fish okay so this is what i put here this is lemon juice and this is the pepper sauce okay so thank you guys so so much for watching i hope you try this recipe for your family all right so i will see you in my next one if you haven't subscribed please do well subscribe and also share my videos with your friend i will see you in my next one bye guys